Hey everyone, it's Mindy Hahn, the Midwest Premier Sports Handicapper, coming to you from TonySpicks.com and the half of the morning show duo, The Morning Steam with Ramon Scott. Uh, but hope you enjoy this free pick video from our show. Uh, be sure to click in the link in the description for our best bets. Now here is the pick. Jazz and hey. Kings. Kings minus eight now. 236 and a half. Oh boy, this one's gone down. Oh, has it? Because I'm looking to the over. I'm taking the over here. It's five and one in the last six meetings here between the Jazz and Kings. Five and zero oh to the over for the Jazz on no days rest. Six and one to the Kings on no days rest. Like the over. What do they see? What are these sharp? Look, I know they're just you know playing numbers, but they don't buy down every two forty. And why <laughs> has this one been? steam to the under you guys is there what is the injury situation here on this i know there's significant uh injuries marking and questionable uh, it's De'Aaron fox of course he left the game last night he did not return so obviously when you're missing 50 points if marking not in and fox is not in i don't know if that meant i mean yes those are two massive scorers but with these two teams, I'm not sure that matters. Right. I mean, if they're in, it feels like it should be like 250 points. Ziggy's leaning to the over here. Yeah, De'Aaron, it's a big deal, no doubt about it, De'Aaron Fox. Here's Howard on the Kings. Yeah, best of all says he's good to go, so we'll see. Corday says, is, is it a revenge game for the Kings? Utah won uh, five days ago, 128-120 at home as a seven-point dog. Ziggy says Fox is probable. I'm not seeing that at this point, but that's good news. It just felt like to me last night when he was uh, not returning, that worried me. So Ziggy going over. His pick is over. He was was a lean. No, it's a pick now. I'm, I'm taking it with him. I can't not do. I I really. I just feel like even without it, you know, these are massive over teams, aren't they? Look, Utah's gone over in nine of their last ten. Sacramento's twenty four and twelve to the over at home. Kings minus 300 on the money. Is that their money line? It's higher than that, probably. There was steam that came in uh, uh, on the Kings in this game. It, look, it opened as high as 9.5, went all the way down to 7. Now it's back down to 8, uh, back up to 8. I didn't know it did that. Oh, interesting, pick zombies. Nice, interesting. <laughs> Yeah, the sun started to creep back in it. Some steam just came in, said Moneyline Mills. And so uh, that's what's taken the number down. In fact, yeah, this is concerning because I'm showing one book now has gone to a seven. And I have a feeling we're going to start to see a lot of moves to the seven if you like Utah, if that's what he's talking about. Oh, thanks, Ziggy. Yeah, no, I think we understood that now. So uh, no doubt I'll leave that seven up there, even though it mostly is eight because I'm just showing right now. No, it's seven. You guys take a look at your screens, at your books right now. This thing's going to seven. So to me, um, I don't know. That kind of signals to me that maybe we won't see Aaron, uh, Darren Fox tonight. So I, I don't want to disrespect saying he's probable, but this thing's moving to seven. If you don't just take a look. It's hot right now. Moving hot, to I seven. tell you. Hot. Moving to seven. Yeah, Bernard just said it. Back to seven. So, if anything, I don't know. Keep an eye on Fox. I, uh, I kind of want the Kings here because I feel like Utah's, uh, I don't know. The last, they've been a profitable team for us. It just feels like it's starting to slip away finally from Utah. Uh, Utah's, you know. So thanks for watching and make sure you get over to the Tony'sPicks.com website right now 
and check out our All Cappers tab where you can purchase some of our own personal picks. And be sure to go ahead and use the promo code TONYT at checkout to save 20%. Okay, have fun. Watch another video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.